one, two, three, four, five. All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Solo Chemist. We are blazing through the story stuff now that we've gotten our farming done. So we have the Maroned Holy City battles. I'm not sure how many there are. Three, maybe four. So we stocked up on our potions. We go back to our Blaze Gun Vanish Mantle combo, and then we're gonna equip change. The first battle is some generics. I'm actually gonna save that just in case. There we go. So I don't forget if we have to reset, and then I go in and it's like, oh, you have a stone gun. So, but it should be relatively, the first battle here should be, definitely should be really easy. The other battles, I don't really know. We have to fight Vormov, Rafael, and Clayton. That battle is going to be interesting. And we're going to have to fight Zombie's Owlbag, which is also going to be interesting. Intense music. His name is Funeral. Is Funeral like a title for something? I want to check that out now. If it's like a noun, not like a... Well, regular funeral's a noun, too. Pull out the old handy-dandy dictionary app. the critical hit sound. Was that critical hit sound when he stabbed him? Of relating to or constituting a funeral? Eh, whatever. I don't feel like reading all this crap. Whatever. He was named Funeral and he died. I'll just leave that to the irony of whatever, the humor of the irony. Alright, so what do we have here? We have White Mage, Geomancer, Summoner, I think it was. Yeah. Two Geomancers, White Mage, Summoner, and two Mediators. One, two, three, four, five, six. This battle should not be very difficult. It might be, I don't know. We have generics. We have let's let's look at their stats just out of curiosity, right? It's not like they're gonna do anything. Let's see, ten, nine, eight, nine, nine, nine. They're kind of fast. Mostly because that guy has flash attack. Oh, they all have flash attacks. Let's see. Math skills. Mm. Fancy. Punch art, catch, defend. He's good combat. That means we can one shot him. Cool. We can one-shot that guy, too. He has items, so we want that. It's a dragon rod, dude. Apparently nothing special. Um, Mithril gun, 108 gems. Whatever. Battle skills. We need ground. Like, that's useful. <coughs> So two people we can one shot, and then other people, everyone else, two shots. Uh, I'm just gonna move back, put change on stone gun sprint shoes. Very devastating combo, speed plus damage, right? wind you leveled up you can still get oh no he's not the good compat one you're the good compat one and you apparently can't reach me totally should be raising faith not brave but whatever this first geomancer is down no prob The summon magic. Shiva. We got it off before I even got a turn. Four o'clock ticks, that's pretty fast. 111. Auto potion takes care of that though. These guys are actually starting to be strong. And actually I know some things. 
Whatever. You're dead. GG. Experience three eights. <laughs> only one person. He probably only knows experience three. I'm just impressed he knew math skills. I mean, how often did that come out? <laughs> you and your little pea shooter. You want me to show you a real gun? I'll show you a gun. But I think this Geomancer is more important to take out just because he can do more damage. In the off chance that he gets my own stops me or gets some status effect, I don't want the deal attack, so unless the summoner moves in range, which he didn't. So put you in critical. I'm gonna wait in place. Tinsberger. It's a weird name. Ooh, you know rays. That's a pretty good chance of hitting too. We're just gonna kill him again. We're wasting your time sandbagging, my friend. Maybe I should move out of the way of these uh, mediators. I don't want to use up a whole bunch of potions. Although, all these battles are going to be quick shot battles. What's his CT? 50. Still can't double turn him. I wonder what the clock ticks on raise is. I should have the battle mechanics guide open, but I think doing stuff in the browser is what makes the sound desync and whatnot, so I'm trying not to do all that while I'm recording. And I try to have all the pages open beforehand, but I just don't have it open now, so we'll just have to wonder. Magri. I wonder how many, like, why so many typos are in this game. For just awkward things. He's gonna move out of the way. Oh, you move right there. Bad move. Pow. Still can't reach me? Or does he not know Hell Ivy? That's probably what it is. So then he can't actually geomance me. <coughs> We're gonna kill the summoner and then run away. I'm guessing that's what it is. He doesn't know how long I be. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because he definitely would be able to. Hell, I even mean, if he actually knew it, but he doesn't. We're gonna run back here. Try and avoid getting shot. And just avoid getting hit by the um, Geomancer. Not really avoid getting shot. I just, I'm trying to avoid using potions, but that doesn't seem to be going too well. I think we're gonna be using, like, what, about 15? Oh. I swear we auto potion more. Whatever. We only used, like, 5. And I'm like, oh, we used 15 already. I have a bad concept of how many items we use. So, two shots on both of these guys. One shot for critical. Just so we can stay in range, since we have a whole bunch of potions. If it really is just the Vormoth battle and then the um, Zombie Salbag battle, we aren't going to have any problems as far as... running out of potions. That's not... If it's only those three. So we can shoot him and then double turn this guy here. At best, he only has a speed of nine. I don't remember exactly. So, uber-powerful chemist wins the day. Now that we can tank damage like a boss, super well with X potion and do good damage with our stone gun. It's literally like laughable. Huh. 
So we didn't even use 10 S potions in this battle. We're going to save all of these on a different spot than our first one, obviously. Alright, we even got an X potion back with that. Good stuff. So save on this spot down here. In the next battle. If I remember correctly, this is the um form of whatever battle. As much as I would like to use maintenance to avoid getting our stuff broken, I think the better choice is to with the vanish mantle and then we wait. Cause I think we only need to put one of them into critical. If I remember correctly. I could be completely wrong. This might not even be that battle. But we're going to find out, aren't we? So. Because that's what I think it is. You fight Vormov and Claytian Rafael. And then after that is Zombie's Albag. It should, that's, that should how it be. Yeah. That should how it be. Yes, proper English. So I was right about this being this battle. We finally get to meet Vormov. Because we've never seen him face to face. actually them. <laughs> Isn't that the second time that's happened? Like when he was talking with Bulk, you got deceived, quote unquote, or something like that. So we have to defeat Vormov? It has to be Vormov? I always thought people went for other units. I don't know. Right? Capricorn. Why are you a Capricorn? I don't know. And control. Good compare. Good compare, we can take out four mob in two shots anyway, so. We're gonna run away. Remedy! Yay! We're gonna wait here. They're all gonna just clump in the corner. <coughs> Then we're gonna stone gun, sprint shoes. What are their stats and stuff? I should check that. So we have defense up, counter flood, mighty sword, same as um, what's her face, melee duel, nine speed, back and pat, jump plus one, blah blah blah. Mighty sword, counter defense up. So, Stone Gun won't be quite as good. But we are good compat, so we're still going to try to Stone Gun. What's his speed? 9. 8 speed, he slowed. All magic, counter magic, magic defense up. Would going for Claytian be better? Who knows? It might be, if you don't actually have to beat Vormov. We've seen battles like that. We're going to try. Stone Gun, Sprint Shoes, let's do this. So much for going for Claytian, right? What's your move? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So we're gonna shoot Formo and then move over. try.
Nope. And now that means broken stuff. Oh, what? Wait, what's breaking? These hat? We have a second one of those, so... Wait, he's going to, though. And that's bad, which means more broken stuff and death. Oh, and a critical, just for good measure. Hmm. If Claytian wasn't such a pansy and could actually move in. <coughs> ah. Hmm. Ha. Ah. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. I'm gonna like do the same strategy, but wait a second time just to see if they move around, and it will give us better CT placement for all that stuff. So, blaze gun, vanish mantle. Doesn't matter where we start, we're vanish mantled. Shouldn't be too bad of a battle. I do think you only need to put one of them into critical. I don't know. <clears throat> now we get to see all this again. Blah, 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 blah. Real good look at Ramses' butt pants. Oh, yeah. They really do show off his butt. Holy crap, I'm just noticing that now. <laughs> They're really tight in the white part. I can really see a good crease in there. That booty. Once again, I don't believe their stats change or anything. We're gonna move back. We're gonna do a quick check. Nine speed, blah blah blah. Everything's the same. Nine, eight speed. Oh, that's Claytian. Blah blah blah. Everything's the same. Ignore height. Totally useful in this flat area. Defense up. I wonder if a magic gun would work. Like magic gun. No. One way gems. Probably not. So back, get this remedy again, wait in place, everyone one runs away, we wait again, they just wait, now we're going to equip change to our stone gun. Just that small manipulation of CT there because of our speed. Stone gun, sprint shoes, let's go. Claytian and Vormov moves in front. And then Rafael. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to shoot and move. Hopefully we can double turn him from waiting now after doing this. Yes, we can. So shoot. Pow. Shot number two. So wait. Clayton will go. And he blocks Vormov like a butt. I can just one-shot Clayton though now, can't I? Hopefully we only need to kill one of them. Right? Yay! <laughs> so 
So yeah, that was all we needed. Just that one little waiting in place there, since we're faster, to gain the extra CT needed to get the double turn on Vormon. Simple enough. Well, that was that battle. I guess Zombie's Albag is next? We're gonna save here again. So we're bad compat with Zalbag though. So that's gonna make this interesting. This is gonna be one of those interesting battles because of the Zodiac. Like Elmdor and Elmdor and um Velius. Those were both interesting battles because they were different and made more difficult because of our Zodiac. So now let's see how things go. Here. Supposedly you wanna use a magic gun and 108 gems. I'm gonna try to stone gun first, just out of curiosity, but... The Chapel of St. Maroon the Temple. So after this will be the last set of battles, won't it? Which means we'll be doing our fun little side quest into the deep dungeons. Yep, here's the Zalbag battle. It really does seem like you're just gonna fight Vormov's, um, what's it called thingy. His, um, blue cubby. It's so mean to, like, make you fight your own brother. So unfortunate. So he has 11 speed as well. Yeah, defense up, which is why you use your magic gun. And he has blood suck. Ooh. Destroy sword. Man, doesn't worry. He's supposed to be a zombie, not a vampire. He has poor brave though, so speed save shouldn't activate too much. Good faith, so yeah, magic gun is definitely the better choice. So, yeah. What about these guys? We have an Ultima Demon and Archaic Demons. Other speeds: eight, 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 and then neutral good neutral and we're bad so we're just gonna move up here wait in this corner and they should all just run away so yeah they're all running away and then Zalbag should run away and I'll shoot, and then he'll move back here again and shoot, and then... And we'll have 108 gems for the extra damage, so... We're gonna go ahead and equip chain and see how things go. We might need to wait a second time to get better CT with, um... 108 gems. But yeah, we might need to wait a second time to get better CT with, um, Zodiac Beasts. Or the, not Zodiac Beast, the, um, these Archaic Demons. So it already looks like Zalbag's not going to be able to move straight forward with how these guys are moving. Maybe they will. <coughs> yeah. Alright, let me check. So he could reach me next turn, so we're going to move into the second corner. And then we're going to be wanting our bigger ice spells as well. There we 
go. Yeah, this battle is definitely going to be harder than normal. I can already tell you that now. Back and pad and defense up would not be good. Dudes would get up where. How much is that going to hit? 112. That ain't that bad. Auto potion. Hmm. Hmm. Hurricane. Ah, I'd missed. I can't hit Zalbeck though now because of you. I can double turn all these guys. I'm gonna try and kill this guy. We need some more bigger spells. We need to get lucky. So once again, we're gonna move over here. Looks like if we just keep moving like this. We won't have to deal with um, Zalbag as much. Until he's able to double turn us because he's not acting. Two fifty one. Good googly moogly. Oh yeah, he is good compat, isn't he? I wonder if I can get a turn in before that Dark Holy goes off. It is a Dark Holy, isn't it? Auto Potion. We can at least survive. Zalbag is the one we need to worry about. And the fact that he's just keep moving. That one shot we got on him already is like... Gone. And he gets his double turn, but he runs away. I guess with those two spells going off, I would die. Yeah, Dark Holy. thankfully. I wonder how much this hurricane is going to hit. A nano flare, whatever. Mmm. Mmm. That was painful. What do we got here? Well, we definitely don't have a potion problem, but this is definitely going to be a more difficult battle. I'm thinking we might want to use um, a stone gun to take out these guys, and then we can just do run away from Zalbag, use <coughs> 108 gems magic gun, maybe. We're gonna wait. Maybe. Because he's back to full health because of move HP up. Another Dark Holy. They have more MP now, so they don't have to worry about all that crap. <laughs> Will he get the Dark Holy off before I go again? He will. Alright, so this is going to be an interesting battle. Bad Combat Zell Bag. It's difficult. I just wanted to see me die. Alright. So... Stone gun, sprint shoes, take out the archaic demons, and then switch to the magic gun. I'm going to try the magic gun again first. We're going to wait twice for better CT with the, um, the, um, archaic demons. And so then, possibly, we can get a second shot on Zalbag, and then do the, um... do the um, redirect. I don't even remember what my beginning half of that sentence was. I zoned out. But definitely an interesting battle. Definitely interesting. So, I like interesting battles. Of course, if we get lucky with our ice threes, of course, getting like two ice threes in a row is only like 1%, so...
I might just do a couple more and then just let this be the end of the video. It would have been cool to get the whole set in one video, but I don't think that's going to happen. This battle is definitely going to be more difficult because of the Zodiac. But I like battles that are more difficult because of the Zodiac. So here we are. Once again, fighting my brother from the undead, because that totally happens often. So why does he move up if I'm vanished and I told him? Makes no sense, does it? He really looks like crap in that, in his little portrait picture there. You can definitely tell he's undid. So we're gonna do the same strategy, but we're gonna wait twice. We're gonna do, a, we moved here and waited, and then we're gonna do a full wait, and then we're gonna equip change to our 108 gems. Just even with us both having good faith, a bad compad is just killer. I'm gonna do another full weight. Yeah, I want all of them to wait like that. It's all back weighted too. What's it looking like now? They're both gonna go. All three of them are gonna go. Zawbag should go first though. I was going to check their zodiacs and speeds. Not what I wanted. Neutral. Eight. Bad. Eight. Bad. Nine. And that one has crappy faith, too, so our magic gun's not going to be doing much damage. So, 108 gems. Wait. Zawbag gets the first move. Just as we want. So shoot Zawbag. One forty three. Speed save. That's bad. Stone gun might be better. Ah, crap. Speed save. Really bad for us. Giga flare. I'm thinking stone mun. I'm thinking stone gun might be overall better for us. No auto potion. If we let Zalbag hit us, what would he do? Just like a straight physical? Hurricane. That's the question of the day. Nope, oh, double turn me. Dang speed save. We're gonna find out what he's gonna do to us. Just a physical. Ain't too bad. I might try Stone Gun and see how much more damage I do to him. Oh, Ice 3! Oh, yeah. I'm not sure which way to face. He goes again? Oh, you butt. <laughs> but back on Pat, so we can take sh shots from him. 
Dark Holy. But yeah, that Ice 3 was nice, but we're going to have to get pretty lucky with those. And hope for no... Um, hope for no... What was I going to say? I don't even know what I was going to say. Well, shows how good I am at commentary, huh? Whatever he is doing has vert zero. Or maybe vert one. Either way, we're gonna move here. We're gonna shoot. There. Hopefully that redirect can get us something good. I wanted like a nice two at least. Of course, is that gonna resolve before Zalbat goes again? That's probably what I should have checked. That would have been much more important. Yeah, and we needed that auto potion, or we would have died from whatever this is. We're bad compat with this guy, but any has bad faith. One more shot on Zalbag. Even with move HP up, as long as we can get that shot. There it is. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. It was only like, what, one or two tries? No, it was just one try. Second try, we got it. Easy battle. I feel bad for you other SSCCs struggling on that battle. <laughs> Chemist is too good. And we got an elixir. Oh yeah. So good. Chemist is beast. So beast. All these white these priests and Mr. Funeral. Why is your name Funeral? I'm a little disappointed Zellbeck wasn't a little tougher, honestly. But that's one of the surprisingly easy battles in this SSCC. While most SSCCs struggle horribly on that battle, we just rip through them like nobody's business. So, yes. That was the Maroned Holy Temple, whatever it is. Oh, hey, cool. You can go back through Gog that way. Which is just where we're trying to go, because we're trying to go there for the deep dungeons. So we're going to go ahead and move down. We're going to save just out of paranoia. Down here. done with all that. I'm going to move down here. A shop. Restock on potions. I already have all those, so... He only used 11 potions through that entire battle. Set of battles. Three battles. So we're going to save again. We're going to try and move over to... Um, Wargilus Trade City to get the deep dungeons open and then nope of course not i mean why does that ever happen right it always happens like that anywho whatever took out vormov took out um zombie zalbag and those generics another set done so that was this episode of solo chemist we are nearing the end so we'll see you next time for more I believe the start of our side quest adventures. See you then.